pretty drunk. You feel okay? I'm giggly and there's gaps in my memory. That's all right. <laughs> Already. Okay, so uh, let's get back. So Yorktown. We won! Well, now we've got to form a country. Um, they all ask him, hey, come be part of the Constitutional Convention. So we're figuring out how the American system is going to work. The Constitutional Convention. This is the room where they're deciding what the shape of our government should be. They're hashing it out. And Hamilton speaks for six hours. But some of the things he pitched would haunt him the rest of his career. He pitched maybe president for life. Oh, he's secretly a monarchist. Maybe uh, we inherit positions. Bullshit. Those whispers are from the perspectives of uh, people who don't like him. Um, but anyway, um, we adopt the system that we adopt, and Hamilton becomes its most ardent defender. So, I'm trying to find the straightest line through this story. So Hamilton has an affair. Um, while he's a treasury secretary, he carries on this affair with a woman named Mariah Reynolds. Her husband shows up. He's like, yo, uh, that's my wife. I'm happy to like keep it on the low, but you have to pay me. It's basically extorted for about $1,000. James Reynolds, the husband who is extorting him, gets arrested on some other bullshit. While he's trying to weasel his way out of it, he says, I've got dirt on Alexander Hamilton. Everyone goes, really? Hamilton uh, and is, has been embezzling, and he sort of says all this shit about Hamilton. Um, and so three guys go to confront Hamilton on these charges. One of the dudes was future president James Monroe. And they go, yo, Hamilton, we know what you did. You know what you did. Check out these checks to James Reynolds, what's up? And they accuse him of embezzling funds. And Hamilton goes, no, 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 I was just f***ing this lady and her husband was hitting me up for money. I didn't touch American money and I have all kinds of proof. And he like vomits information all over them. Oh, wow, that was more than we needed to hear. And we're good, thanks. The info about the affair gets somehow miraculously printed in the paper. Hamilton is not a great dude. I know you think he's great because he's a war vet and he's the treasury secretary, but you're gonna learn the truth real soon. And Hamilton gets this and he goes to James Monroe. What the f like, I told you that in secret. And, and, and James Monroe's like, it, it wasn't secret, it wasn't me. It wasn't me who, who uh, published it. Motherfucker! I told three people about this and you're the one who was taking notes, so I know it came from you. Like, fess up, f you, f you. So Hamilton, overshare, writes the Reynolds pamphlet. The whole thing reads like a Dear Penthouse letter, like, Dear America, I never thought this would happen to me. But one day, this ripped bodice woman showed up at my door saying, oh, my husband's beating me, left me alone, and I need money and I need help. You are a man of honor, can you help me? Hamilton's like, I could give her money or I could f her and either one would be acceptable. The, the Reynolds pamphlet is like Dick 101. And by the way, he said this to his friends, being like, hey, I think I'm gonna publish this. And everyone was like, hey bro, I don't think this is a good idea to publish this. Like maybe your wife and your seven children would not love it if you publish this. And Hamilton's like, well, you're like I got accused of embezzling. You're like, I can't let that stand. Maybe the like marital infidelity trumps that. I know it doesn't in your head, but to everyone else in the world, it does. <laughs> um, and he's like, no, I can't let that shit stand. And Hamilton goes back to James Monroe. And now Hamilton's like, well, it's all out in the open. Um, and if you still want to settle this, because I know you're the one who leaked it. Um, Monroe's like, well, I didn't leak it, but if you want to like fight, like let's do this. And so they meet face to face. And Monroe goes, all right, you're mad at me because of this, this, and this. And Hamilton goes, let's start at the beginning. And lists like the first time they met, <laughs> he lists the details of the entire meeting as Monroe gets more and more impatient. Monroe's like, I know all this. 
I know all this. I know all this. Hamilton's like, you interrupted me. I have to start again. Him and Rose getting angrier and angrier until they're finally pulled apart because they're about to like punch each other in the face. So Monroe goes to his homie, Aaron Burr, and goes, yo, you know Hamilton. Will you tell him, this is so like high school gossip. He goes, will you tell Hamilton that if he's challenging me to a duel, I accept. But if he's not, I wasn't challenging him to a duel. And Burr goes over to Hamilton like, James Monroe told me to tell you that if you're challenging him, he accepts, but if you weren't challenging him, he doesn't really want to go into a duel. Uh, and Burr squashes the duel. Burr's like, duels are stupid, and you both should just, like, shut up, and it's over. And Hamilton told everyone everything anyway, so there's no point in you shooting at each other. Sorry, I gotta put my phone on vibrate. You okay? Uh-oh, Questlove's... Questlove? Text to me. You did Drunk History? What? How did Questlove find out? Oh, here, here we go. go. Yo! Questlove! Yo! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> this. this is the best shit ever. I cannot <laughs> wait for this episode. My girl and I got together based on our love for Drunk History. You see the well, effect you have? I love you both. History has its eyes on you. Yes. This is awesome! Bye, Cheers. Questlove. Bye.